Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be going into three of my favorite wrench organizers. If you guys haven't seen my previous episodes of these favorite organizers, go ahead and check them out. I have one on sockets, uh, pliers, screwdrivers, and now wrenches. So getting into this, I'm going to start off by naming two that I don't really care for and this is my personal opinion and it all depends on the work environment that you're in. And then I'm going to finish up with three of my favorite and then I'll show you what I actually use. So first up, as far as the ones I don't use is the tool sorter. And this is going to be useful for maybe your DIYer, weekend warrior that maybe just has one set of wrenches um, and it's a standard set. It can't be, you know, long wrenches or of a special design or anything like that. This is gonna be your very basic uh, wrench organizer. So I don't suggest that, but if you just have one set of wrenches, that's fine but it also runs $18 so it's already up there in the mid to high pricing for wrench organizers so there's many other options out there next up is going to be the Ernst gripper set and many other companies make it uh, but I'll throw up a picture the downside to this is for me I don't like the grippy portion I don't like that when I go to grab a wrench for one the the wrenches are really close together a majority of the time and when i go to pick up a wrench it tends to pick up the whole rail um, so i don't really care for that but then again it it depends on your needs if you're a mobile mechanic or somebody that's moving around a tool cart around the shop a lot maybe that's uh more your taste because it'll hold the wrenches in place and you don't have to worry about the wrenches moving around or anything but if you're stationary to me it's not the best design but it is affordable as well it runs roughly eight dollars so not too bad now getting into the three that i do suggest and first up is going to be the these aren't in any sort of order is going to be the gear wrench or sata design and i'll throw up a picture the nice thing about this is for one it looks very pleasing to the eye it keeps everything organized very well the rails can actually be flipped so you can run the uh, wrenches either direction depending on your drawer needs and uh, it's very affordable as well 10 to 25 dollars and that depends on if you're getting a single or double set and then you can also separate them from metric and sae so 10 to 5 or 10 to 25 dollars and they hold anywhere from 13 to 16 wrenches depending on the size organizer that you get the other thing that I really like is it holds up. Now, keep in mind when I state these numbers, this is going to range differently for each one, but this is just a general idea of what it can hold. It's not specific. This states 25 millimeter. It can hold up to a 25 millimeter wrench, but it also depends on the design of the wrench and everything like that. So it could be bigger or smaller. And the other thing I like about that, besides the reversible rails, is they're easy grab, easy drop in. So there's no twisting the wrench or lifting the wrench and pulling up, nothing like that. So you just easily, and it holds them in place really well, you just easily grab it and drop it in place. You don't have to sit there and fiddle with it. So a nice, easy, fast design that saves some space. So very affordable, great set. Moving on, the next one is the Toolbox Widget. I love the Toolbox Widget. Uh, they have screwdriver organizers, wrench organizers. It, the screwdriver organizer is also good for, you know, ratchets, extensions, picks, mirrors, all those little miscellaneous tools. So really good design, very simple design, and by far the most versatile organizers available. So the pro and con to this is it's going to be the most versatile well-organized wrench system that I've ever used. Con being the price is going to be the higher end. So this is going to be a 10 wrench holder compared to the gear wrench or SATA uh, 13 to 16. This is a 10 wrench and it runs $25. So about $5 more, uh, 15, five to $15 more, depending on the size set that you get in other brands. Um, and it's going to hold a little bit less, but the payoff is you're getting something that really really can save you a lot of space and uh, is very versatile because it comes in little clips that you can piece together for any depth of drawer so it works for anything you can set your drawer up exactly how you like so by far my favorite design but you're going to pay for it other than that it is also great because it can hold up to once again these numbers are uh, variable it can hold up to a two inch or 52 millimeter wrench. The other good thing is it has its vertical wrench organizer and then it's good for shallow drawers. 
but then you get into your bigger wrenches that tend to be even too tall for shallow drawers. They have an angled wrench organizer that lays the wrenches at an angle for those larger sizes so you can keep them in those shallow drawers, which is very handy. So moving on to the last one before we get into what I use is the Tekton or Ernst organizer. Now they have a lot of different designs, but I'll throw up a picture of the one I'm actually speaking of or the two that I'm speaking of. They have their standard design, which is really nice because they come with different backings for your different needs. If you're a stationary, you could simply get the uh, no backing or you could get the magnetic backing. They also have a tape backing. So the tape backing or magnetic backing might be good for somebody that's moving their tool cart around or anything like that. The magnet is the thin strip magnet. So it's not going to be good through your thick drawer liners, but it is going to be good just for you know, your standard metal. Uh, so we'll hold it well there. But the standard design without backing, as long as you have a lot of weight on it, as long as it's full of wrenches, it's very sturdy. Um, obviously, if you're like me with my Matco box where I moved from one state to another across country, it did not or keep them organized. They did tip over and they ended up everywhere, but that was not a smooth ride and not what you would expect moving a tool cart around a shop. So that's the con to that is they're not the most sturdy if there's not a lot of weight on them or if you're transporting them like a mobile mechanic. So not the best option there, but if you're stationary or just moving them around in a shop with a pretty smooth surface, you're gonna be just fine. The other great thing about it is it holds 20 to 40 wrenches depending on the design that you go with. Another great thing is they have the low profile design which angles the wrenches more down so they're very easily readable. Plus you can fit those bigger wrenches in the drawer. And this is going to hold up to roughly a 27 millimeter and 10 to $20 for 20 to 40 wrench uh, holders. That's pretty good. So really you need to decide which one fits your needs best but also with the low profile design, you don't have to worry about it tipping over either because it's a little bit wider at the base and doesn't stand quite as tall, so it's more sturdy. But overall, both designs are great and I've used them both and love them. But now let's actually get into what I use now. All right, sorry about the funny angle. I got my Camaro over here, so it's a little bit awkward. But I do have the toolbox widget, which I absolutely love, and it keeps everything very organized. The other great thing is you actually can order these clips. Now, the awkward thing is they don't provide every size out there, but SAE three quarters. So it's really nice that you can kind of put this in there and uh, keep everything organized. You know where everything is. The only con is they don't actually provide every size, which is kind of awkward. But other than that, it works great for all different designs. You see, I have some deep offsets here. I have flare nuts here, uh, stubbies here, long double box end wrenches here, uh, long combination wrenches on that end over there, and then just standard uh, length wrenches here. So it's good for almost all style wrenches and keeps everything really well organized before this is this is nine different sets of wrenches, I believe. Before, I could only fit four in here comfortably with the organizers I had before. So this works very well for my needs. I was able to fit a lot more wrenches in here and I could even rearrange this and fit more wrenches if I needed to, but that is what I have here. And then here I have more. And here you can kind of see some of the angled wrench organizers up here in the front and more in the back. So very nice, keeps everything very well organized and works very well. So that's what I decided to go with and uh, I'm very happy with it. But once again, the price is a little steep, but I believe you get what you pay for. But if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you guys suggest anything else, please feel free, drop it down in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts of what you guys use and what you guys like. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. See you guys next time.